What's up guys? We got a little bit of an unboxing today. I already went ahead and opened this just to double check what it was because I just knew that this got here today, but I did not know that. I thought okay we got here today. So you know I got some genuine K2 and stuff. Some more of it so we get rid of this freaking mess. That sloppy stuff. Get a nice little line going. So now that we know that this is already out the way, I don't know. The installation might be in the same video. Most likely I will do that. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Figured I switched up the angles real quick. So Jack Spania Racing. I don't know if y'all know. It's like eBay brand. Show y'all what I got here. Another bubble wrap. Uh, she's actually pretty heavy. Can y'all see this? Okay, here's the top part of the shifter, hardware, say like Allen keys, it's actually pretty heavy for my settings, how high and low I want it. I'm not going to be honest with y'all, I haven't seen a review on YouTube, so I don't think I'm going to do a pretty solid open unboxing review of what I got, leaving the links in the description and whatnot, so... Help my fellow Honda people out. Okay, that's clean. Oh, snap. I decided to go with this one because, you know, it had a little brand on it, so better than a no name. And it's black, so it's not as flashy. I've been watching a lot of videos. So, damn, this shit is huge. Pause. Dang. So as you see, you have your adjustments right here for the cables. They say when you have it at the highest setting, you put this at the low. This is the throw. So this would be the shortest throw. You move it towards the middle. This one in the middle, medium throw. And then the longest throw for this box would be all the way forward and all the way down. That's from what I've heard. Um, I did have the billet bushings in my cart, but I didn't go through with it because they said if you're going to run solid mounts to go ahead and run OEM. And then I did have racing cables in my cart. And they said, as long as the OEM cables aren't stretched, they're the best ones to use. So I figured why not? Um, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this stuff up. See where I want to get it. And I'll come back to y'all. A quick before. Okay, as you can see, there's a change. My phone died, nothing new. So, if y'all own an RSX, it's pretty freaking simple. You pull back the couple, you pull up, pop all the clips out, don't be afraid, it won't break. This is what I got going on right here. I have everything set on. 
It's just sick. So, I'm getting ready to take the old crusty off. I've never looked down here and that shit looks gross. Like somebody spilled something. So, you just push the, that up to get the cup holders out. But, uh, you have pins that you need to pull with some pliers. And then those look like they're gonna be 12s or 13s or 14s, something like that. Pretty simple. Most people take off the full center console. Uh, I might real quick, just to get a feel for taking all this stuff out. But. All right guys, so long story short, it's not really an installation video, but I can give you some pointers if you don't already watch another video. So, like I said, you slide it back, you take those two bolts out, you get a little flat head, you push right here on this side, on this tab, you pull it out, make sure you unplug your 12 volt lighter port. From there, there's two bolts, there's one right here, one on the other side, make sure you unplug the lighter port. From there, uh, you go ahead, you pull the front out and up around here. You can see that there's those, uh, those pushing tabs and you lift it up from the back Make sure you have the e-brake all the way up, car, put it in fourth, and just bring it up and out all the way. So I already disconnected the shifter cables. I got the cotter pins out. But now just look at this box. Like, like y'all, I was watching the videos and I was like, all right, what's the big deal? You know, it's a stock box. But look at all of this play versus here. Well, you know, it's not really mounted, but I'm moving the whole thing. So, y'all about to see. It comes with its own things here. So, I'm not going to have to use the OEM ones. I can save those. These are 12s. So, I'm going to take this out, take the cables take, take the cables out, take this out, and then I'll show you what it all looks like when the, the, the new box is mounted in. We got old Christina out. So, I'm going to take the factory bushings out and then put in the new one. Okay, well that definitely gave me a fight. I got them in, so they do work. You just gotta squeeze them and then push them in and push those in. So now, I'm gonna set them. That looks sick. I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and tighten it down and then put the cables in and I'll show you the, the movements. Freaking mint. I'm loving it so far. Two step. Yeah. Two step? Yeah. Alright, bro, I don't know if you're ready for this shit. Alright, here we go. gonna do a two step I'm just gonna roll into it Mark, son, I was spinning, boy.
wrap in the mail. Got some stuff in. My injectors are here also. Throw these on real quick. Sammy here. Yo, come back this week. This shit is hard, bro. I want for a daily. I seen a CRX. It was clean. That's fire. That shit clean. Woo. Nice ass, that's a. I want one of these too. SIs. Oh yeah, SIs. That shit's so clean. Check out Noise Oz. Like that bumper. Right there. That shit fire. Got the Bender to master ball cover too. That shit finna be hard. He did sell his rims. He has stocks on. Oh, bro. Fire. This fire right here. Oh, RAV4. Oh, yeah. Type S right here. I was trying to get him to stop, but it should look beat. Sound beat. I don't know what he got going on. That should look beat. What you think? You like it? Yeah? yeah? Let's go back to the race car. Nice little turnout. Margaritaville every Saturday.